How's it going everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to some more Spellbreak content and welcome to all the new Spellbreak players. Today we're going to be talking about the five things I wish I knew when I first started playing Spellbreak. So kick back, relax, like, comment, subscribe, and let's get started. First thing that helped me out the most was understanding what my talents were and how the system worked. Talent points, that's how many points you can have allocated into your talents. That's one, three, and uh, one again, so a total of five. I have five out of six talents used. I can put on a three, but then you see it is seven out of six. Whoops, can't do that. But that brings me very closely to my next point of what you should run or what talent you should try and go for first. First, you should go for Harmony. It's the easiest thing you can do to save your time when fighting a Tox player. Trust me, it will really save some time and headaches. Second, you're probably trying to figure out what gauntlet you should use. I highly recommend Pyromancer or Stone Shaper. Either of these are great starter options and teach you how to aim and properly control your mana. Which brings me to my third point, mana control. Mana control is extremely important. Every ability that you use, whether it be your spells, your sorceries, or jumping, uses mana to some degree. The worst way you can use mana is jumping and levitating. It consumes a large amount of mana that you will take a while to get back. Instead of jumping and levitating up to your point, maybe try directional runes. Directional runes are runes like dash or shadow step that can help you get to situations much quicker and with far less mana so you can get ready to fight. It's important to know that runes will go the way that you look, so like that or like that. All good ways to conserve mana. The fourth thing I wish I knew when I first started playing Spellbreak is how important it is to know the interactions between gauntlets. For instance, we have Tox with a Fireball equals Dragon's Fire. It's important to know that not everything has interaction. Sometimes, this is all that it does. The last most important thing is just to have fun. And always remember that this game has a learning curve and it's going to take a while to learn. But I know you can do it and I have nothing but faith in you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, peace.